This is the Ender 5 S1 3D printer made by Creality. The Ender 5 S1 is an all metal cube frame design featuring the classic Cartesian structure. Out of the box, it can print with high temperatures and with speeds up to 250 millimeters a second, slashing print time with its higher efficiency. The 3D printer comes well packaged and each layer is separated with foam padding. In the box are the following items, the pre-assembled base and top component, the Z-axis assembly and the print bed platform, the aluminium profiles, support arms, bracing, spool holder bracket, 200 grams of white PLA filament, a quick start guide and the accessory box. In the accessory box is a sticker sheet, bolts for assembly, an 8 gig SD card and a USB card reader, a spare nozzle, assembly tools, a spool holder, scraper, power cable, Teflon tube, a nozzle cleaner and cutters. The quick start manual has a step by step guide on how to assemble the 3D printer and how to start the first prints. The frame brackets are colour coded with stickers to assist in identifying the correct part to install. Being a modular design and having the complex parts pre-assembled makes the assembly a quick and easy process. Parts are aligned as shown in the manual and bolted together. With the frame components assembled, the cables are plugged into the X, Y and Z stepper motors, end stops, filament runout sensor and the power supply. The Teflon tube is placed into the runout sensor and into the top of the extruder. Finally, the cables are all neatly managed with the included clips and cable ties. The total assembly time of the printer takes around 10 to 12 minutes. There is an assembly video included on the SD card to further help show which part goes where. The Creality slicer and user manual is also included on the SD card. Before turning on the 3D printer, check the power supply is set to the correct voltage, either 230 volts or 115 volts. Finally, the power cable is plugged into the printer and powered on via the switch. The frame features an all-metal cube-shaped design based on the classic Cartesian structure, with the bed moving up and down the Z-axis. A cube frame increases the stiffness and stability of the 3D printer, which allows for faster printing speeds and fewer vibrations compared to an Ender 3 style 3D printer. The stability is enhanced by thick linear shafts, extra frame bracing, cantilever supports under the hotbed and the silicon bed mounts. Two carry handles located at the top of the 3D printer make moving the printer easy. Inside the base of the printer providing electrical safety and reliability are the neatly enclosed electronics. There is a 350 watt 24 volt power supply, Creality's 32 bit motherboard with silent stepper drivers, the display module and keeping all the electronics cool is a base mounted fan. Three high precision stepper motors are used for the X, Y and Z axis and a steel shaft connects and synchronizes the two Y axis belts. The Ender 5 S1 3D printer has a build volume of 220 by 220 by 280 millimeters high, suitable for most hobbyist models and DIY projects. Integrated into the printer's base is the 4.3 inch touch screen. All the operations for the printer can be done through the responsive touch screen. It's a straightforward user interface and easy to navigate whether it's for using the auto bed level, setting and adjusting temperatures or starting a print. At the side of the printer is the full size SD card slot and a USB-C port. Both these ports are easy to access and in a convenient location. There are multiple ways to 3D print files on the Ender 5 S1, either directly via the SD memory card, print from PC via the USB-C cable, or Wi-Fi printing via Creality's cloud app with the optional Wi-Fi box. It's nice having a full-sized SD card as it is easier to handle compared to a micro SD card found on other printers. On the same side as the SD card slot and towards the back of the printer is the spool holder. Directly above the spool holder is the filament runout sensor, a handy feature that will detect if filament runs out. There is also a power recovery feature to help ensure a high successful print rate. Filament feeds through the Teflon tube into the Ender 5 S1's all-metal Sprite Direct Extruder. 
This features dual metal gears with a 1 to 3.5 gear ratio, making it an excellent choice for working with more demanding filaments. The all-metal hot end of the Ender 5 S1 is capable of reaching temperatures up to 300 degrees. This expands the usable filament range from the standard filaments such as PLA to more professional materials such as ABS, polycarbonates, nylon and various carbon fibre reinforced blends. The printer comes standard with a 0.4mm brass nozzle which can be swapped out for a steel nozzle if printing abrasive materials like carbon fibre reinforced filament. The park cooling fan now sits at the back of the print head and has been upgraded to a powerful 5015 fan. Air is directly blown over the printed model via a dual sided fan duct onto the extruded filament. The special Eurus cooling duct improves the print quality for overhangs, bridges and other detailed objects. For the print bed, a flexible magnetic build plate is used with two small bolts in the back, helping aid the quick installation and removal of the build plate. The textured surface of the PC spring steel plate allows prints to adhere well. Finished prints are removed right away with a slight bend of the plate. The heated bed is capable of reaching temperatures up to 110 degrees for filaments requiring a higher bed temperature. To start the first prints, it's best to begin with setting the Z offset adjustment and the manual leveling process. This ensures the bed is levelled as close as possible before starting the automatic bed levelling. For the perfect first layer, Creality's CR Touch 25 point auto levelling system is installed on the Ender 5 S1. This offers a hassle free bed levelling experience. The CR Touch probe is also used to home the Z axis. There are two pre-sliced files included on the SD card. These are printed with the included white PLA filament. The Benchy Boat is a good test print and it printed exceptionally well with great details and no visible issues. The Bunny also printed well with only some fine string in between the ears which cleaned up easily. For the other models, these are printed with Creality's Rainbow Silk PLA. The 3D files are sliced in Creality's slicer software, or you can use your own preferred slicer. Setting up the slicer is a simple process with the default pre-configured profiles ready to set up and use for the end of 5 S1. The next model is a fidget cube. This is a print in place model with the hinges and moving parts printed into the model. Once complete and removed from the printer, all the moving parts functioned as intended. Finally, a vase was printed using the spiral mode in Creality's slicer. This turned out to be a great print, especially using the Rainbow Silk PLA. There were only some minor defects which could be tweaked in the slicer and settings. The Ender 5 S1 is ready to produce fast prints at up to 250 millimeters a second with 2000 millimeters a second of acceleration. The default print speed profiles for PLA are set at 120 mm a second, which can still be considered quite fast compared to an Ender 3 style 3D printer, which will typically print at speeds of 50 to 60 mm a second. Here is a comparison of the printing speeds when printing a Benchy boat. On the left, the print speed is set to 60 mm a second, versus on the right, where the printer is set to 250 mm a second. Printing at 60 mm a second, the Benchy boat took 1 hour and 34 minutes, versus printing at 250 mm a second, where the model was printed in 1 hour and 2 minutes. Printing at the higher speed enabled the 3D printer to finish the print around 30 minutes quicker. On closer inspection, the surface quality and overall finish is better on the slower print, but printing at higher speeds still achieved a decent model. If you're looking for higher print speeds, Creality's Sonic Pad is available, which provides the ability to run Clipper, which will help extract a little more print speed and surface quality out of it. For printing higher temperature filaments, Creality offers a housing for the Ender 5 S1. There are three side panels and a door in the kit. Installation is a seamless process. It begins with installing the profile connectors with the square nuts, then installing the acrylic panels and bolting in place. 
A new external filament holder is also included to finish off the installation. The printer remains open at the top, so it's not quite a complete enclosure. There is a door at the front, which allows easy access to the print bed and the display. The display is still easily seen through the tinted acrylic screen, allowing monitoring of the prints. It also improves the overall aesthetics of the printer with a clean, modern look. With its overall ease of setup, solid build quality and the quiet print performance, the Ender 5 S1 is a great 3D printer that can print high quality models, making it a reliable printer for studios, workshops or DIY projects.